and close your eyes. And focus on your breath. It's when your eyes are closed that you are less distracted. You can give all your attention to how the breathing feels in the body. This gives the mind some grounding here in the present moment, so it doesn't go floating away. Because if the mind doesn't have any grounding, that, that's what happens. It just floats off to the past, floats off to the future, and don't, you have no idea where it's going to land. And what kind of trouble you're going to get into in the meantime. But when you're with the breath, you're here in the present moment, you know you're right here. Of course, sometimes the mind float, does float off to good places, but it's never really for sure. What you want to be able to do is to watch how the mind does this. And the only place you can watch that is by keeping the mind grounded in the present moment. Then you see the thoughts as something separate. They float away, but you don't have to go floating with them. Now you can see more clearly what goes into making up a thought and whether the thought is really worth following or not. If there's any greed, aversion, and delusion, any sensuality, any ill will, any harmfulness in the thoughts, and you know you don't, those are not the thoughts you want to go with. You have to keep your awareness under control. As for good thoughts, you can go with them if you see that they're actually going to serve a purpose. But the only way you're going to see that is if you watch them as they form and see what goes into making them. So that's why we have to stay here in the present moment, so we can understand the workings of the mind. It's like going behind the stages, excuse me, going behind the scenes of a play. If you're out in the audience, they keep pulling down the curtain before they change the scenery to keep up the illusion that you're in different places at different times. But when you're behind the scenes, then you see clearly what's going on. You don't get taken in for the, by the illusions. The same with the, your mind. You want to be able to see the workings of the mind so that the mind doesn't deceive you. Because it's through the mind's deceiving itself that delusion comes in. When there's delusion, all kinds of other unskillful thoughts can come in, unskillful mental impulses can come in. And you wouldn't know. So here you are. Here's your place where you can know. Watch what's going on. Then you're more in control. So instead of just floating away, when the time comes to think about things, you can direct the mind straight to where it wants to go, you want it to go, and then you can bring it right back. That's when the mind gets more and more helpful to you and less and less of a problem. 